very quickly, there's a lot of differences between victim and victimhood. Are you a victim if somebody decides to break rules, to step outside a relationship, to rob, steal, and strip you of your consent? Uh, and, and, and break trust and break vows and break promises, you are a victim. Without question, you're a victim. Um, however, if 10, 15, 20 years you still have victimhood mentality, then that's on you. So being a victim is not on you without question. You are a product of somebody else's decisions that grossly, profoundly affected you, tremendously affected you. Having said that, we then move into, you know, years and years or decades where if you're still using your victim status um, into victimhood, then that's an issue. And the reason why it's an issue, one of the reasons, is because it's keeping you stuck. If you are saying, um, I can't love other people because of A, B, and C. I can't heal because of A, B, and C. I can't be this because of A, B, and C. Well, now you have a victimhood status and that doesn't serve you. So um, yes, you are a victim. Um, yes, somebody came and broke your legs. And unfortunately, the only person that's gonna fix them is you if you wanna run again. But you can't have your legs broken and decide not to do much or, if it, or nothing at all with them. And then 20 years later say, well, I can't walk because you know I, this happened to me. No, 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 you chose not to heal. So whether you're reconciling or not, yes, you are a victim, you were a victim, but you don't have to live in victimhood for the rest of your life. You can heal whether you're reconciling or not. You can go from being a victim to being a survivor.